Hi, fellow scientists. We've been talking about fall and then how the trees are changing in winter. And those are seasons, those are called seasons. And there are four seasons. So say them with me. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, which is also known as autumn. And we are in fall right now. We're about halfway through fall. And we've been talking about what comes next, which is winter and how the trees will look in winter. And when we started school, it was summer still. And if you can think back to spring, visualize what the trees look like in spring. And we've done some things with what trees look like. You did a silly um, connection uh, matching the picture to the name of the season. And I have another season page because once we talk about seasons for a little bit longer, we are going to be talking about weather and weather has a lot to do with the season. So think about it. In the winter, the weather is usually what? It's colder. Um, sometimes it's windier. Where we live, it rains. In some places, it snows in the winter. And the trees look a certain way. And then after winter, the trees start blooming and you can see little buds on them and they start to flower some of the trees and the leaves start coming out and the trees are starting to look more lively and prettier and our weather's changing also. It starts to get warmer, it stays lighter a little bit later. We still have some rain, but the trees are changing. And then in the summer, we know that's when the trees are in full bloom and the fruits are on the trees. There's a lot of summer fruits and then there's things like apples though. Those are more on fall trees. And then after summer, we have fall. And we've talked a lot about fall and what fall trees look like. So I have a paper and this has some a little bit of writing and reading on it because everything we do is connected. And what you're going to do is you're going to trace the season words and then decorate the trees to match the seasons. So this is also a little bit of art. The first one says spring, spring. Then we have a Mm -er. Then we have, we know this one really well. Fall, f all, and w in t er, winter. So you're going to trace, and what tracing means is there are little dots, and you're going to take your pencil and go over the words darker. You're gonna connect the dots, take your time. This is also good handwriting practice. I just tied another subject in and I'm tracing, taking my time, starting at the top with my letters and going down. Just do your best. So I'm just gonna show you spring when I'm done, spring. And if you wanna go over it again, I like to start with a pencil. So I went over it, you can see in pencil, not perfect, but I went over it, I took my time, and then maybe I wanna go over it with a marker or a brighter colored um, pencil or a crayon. But then it also says, decorate the tree to match each season. What does that mean, decorate? Are we putting party decorations? No, Miss Seltzer, we're not. What we're going to do is think about what would a tree look like in spring? Maybe you have a tree like a flowering cherry tree or um, an apple tree or even just a regular tree. So these trees are all bare. They don't have leaves. They have nothing on them. And that's not the way spring trees look. So I'm going to start drawing some green, some leaves on here for spring, starting to draw some leaves. And what else do I wanna put? I'm gonna put some little, um, I'm gonna make some little red marks, like there's little flowers starting to blossom, just a little bit, mostly green, but a lot of flowers blossoming. And I don't like the way the tree trunk looks, it's kind of a grayish 
color. So I'm gonna go over it in brown. I'm gonna color that in brown. Go over the branches, make them a little brown. And I think I might even wanna add some grass. I don't like that the tree is kind of floating in air. It's not really how trees are. They're not floating in the air, are they? So I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna go up and down for grass. I might even wanna put the sun in the sky. Maybe I'll put the sun in the sky. So I'm gonna show you what I did. And that doesn't mean your tree has to look like mine. I think I'll put some little pink, pinkish flowers too. Now this like kind of a sparkly pink. Okay, so I want you to see my spring tree, if you can see it. And there's my sun, I drew some grass. I went over the trunk and the branches with brown crayon. Um, then I'm going to do summer and I'm going to, my leaves are going to be really full and um, there might be some fruit starting to grow on the trees. Um, maybe oranges, maybe you have, maybe you've seen peaches growing or little plum trees. Um, then when I get to the fall, what do you think I might want to do for my fall tree? Well, for the fall tree, and again, remember the weather's changing in the summer. It's hot, it's drier, but all the trees are really full and green and blooming. When I get to the fall tree, think about how we've talked about leaves. What happens? What happens to the leaves? They start to change color. I know you were thinking that. I said it too fast. So, I'm gonna color my trunk again. I'm gonna still have some green leaves, but I'm probably gonna use some orange along with green leaves, probably some yellow and a little bit of red maybe. I've seen some red leaves also. And then I might even have some laying on the ground because they've started to fall. And then when I get to the winter, think about the weather again. And even now in the fall, the wind's been blowing it's starting to get cooler it's definitely cooler we had hot days last week but now it's much cooler and a lot of the trees have really lost a lot of leaves then what happens in the winter much colder darker earlier things aren't really growing oh but you're thinking seltzer you also told us there were trees called evergreens and they're still green. So you could draw an evergreen tree with little um, um, little evergreen um, needles, pine needles, things like that, if you wanted to do that. Or you might even say, you know, this is what most of the trees I see look like, and you might even wanna leave it. So scientists, you're going to trace the words, meaning going over the dots, you're gonna look at the words. You're gonna read them because I've done it with you. And then you're gonna decorate the trees the ways that they would look in the seasons. And remember, seasons really tie into weather, which is going to be our next science topic. Okay, go work on your trees.